Good blessed uh, Friday morning, uh, December the 18th, 2020, 2020 time of the change, time of the vision. It's about 5.02 a.m. in the morning. Hadn't too long ago put my dad to sleep, everybody know, uh, to bed rather. Everybody know he's a 93-year-old, honorably discharged Army World War II uh, veteran with dementia. Anybody know uh, people with dementia are all-timers are some of the things that you have to deal with, especially when you're doing it 24-7 like I am. And then raising uh, 14 and 15-year-old uh, daughters. Uh, not to mention in this world that we are living in now, especially here in the United States. But I greet all pe all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you are the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me, my YouTube channel, or any of my social internet videos or messages. That's your prerogative to like or dislike. But I don't give my messages and I don't make my YouTube, which is I encourage everybody that don't watch my YouTube to watch them. And they free of charge. I don't look for any financial gain. All I look for is to try to get some people undivided attention to uh, bring them out of darkness if they're in darkness or make them aware of some of the things that they may not be aware of. Report things that other people won't report because every side has another side of the story. But that's Raymond, R-A-Y-M-O-N-D, I-V-I-V-Y. Uh, anyway, uh, first, I would like to thank God for allowing me to be able to wake up early this morning. Uh, thank God for allowing me to see my two youngest daughters that stay with me and my 93-year-old dad all have heartbeats and all minds are well. You know, with dementia, you have some lo memory loss and some you have long-term memory that you can uh, recollect. But uh, I pray to God that... Uh, all violence around the world stop. But I, I'm on a mission in the black and Spanish uh, communities because I'm black and I uh, have three daughters that's uh, black that's uh, mixed with Spanish. And uh, I have uh, all uh, four, well, you know, all five of my uh, uh, grandchildren and a great grandchild that all have uh, mixed with uh, Spanish, either a Mexican uh, or Puerto Rican. And my uh, great grandson happened to uh, have uh, white in his blood. Uh, that's why when I greet, I don't uh, greet just all, uh, one uh, set of people. I greet all because all people are human beings. If I've seen a, a white baby, even if their mama and daddy are Ku Klux Klan's and I see that white baby in the streets, a bandit, I would do the same thing if I would do with my own child. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm praying that this black on black and Spanish on Spanish crime stop. Have anybody seen the latest news in Chicago, Illinois, where this uh, black uh, retired uh, fire lieutenant, uh, fireman lieutenant uh, was a uh, ambushed by four individuals one stayed in the car three uh, exited the car all three had guns uh i don't know what the intentions is the police uh, uh theory is that it was going to be a robbery uh, or some people say a carjacking uh but it appeared to me that it was a uh a hit in any case they all came out with guns three of them the fireman happened to have a firearm himself and got the shooting back and they ran, but he didn't make it. And the latest news that I just received, uh, it's a 15 year old uh, boy that's in custody uh, 
for the murder. So they got one that's 15 and no telling how old the other ones are. And I don't blame every parent uh, when their 14 or 15 year old child or any of their children is out there doing wrong. Some parents uh, can uh, try to find out where their children is. You know, some don't care. And I know that for a fact because I see it down here where I'm at now. You know, when some uh, uh, children do wrong, some of the parents is ready to fight you because you are letting them know the wrong that their child has done, y'all. Y'all, you know, watch out. You know, you know, in, in Chicago and other places, uh, blacks is out here robbing blacks. It's happening down here. Robbing and shooting them. But one thing that I learned when I was in Cabrini Green for the years that I uh, lived in Cabrini Green, uh, which is the infamous housing projects that Spo was de uh, designated and clarified as being the most notorious housing projects in the nation, in the United States. One thing in my generation, you know, the generations that that, that uh, some of the generations that came after, you know, I don't know how far after because I left the scene uh, for a while. But some of the generations started robbing and, and stealing and raping and breaking into other ones houses. But when I was coming up, they didn't do that. We didn't do that. You know, anybody that lived in the row house, they know we protected the row house. I clowned a little bit, but you didn't see me going around robbing, breaking into people's houses, raping them. Uh, disrespecting the elders and when I moved in 624 West Division in the 19 uh, early 1970s probably in 1970 when my mom moved there you didn't see that you know we protected each other you know for some reason somewhere down the line that torch was dropped or that torch didn't want to be picked up by another generation you know what I mean and it's sad because now we complain when I say we, if the shoe fit where we complain when a white police kill a black. We complain when a white people shooting blacks down like they're animals. We complain about that, but we don't complain. We don't march. We don't protest with all these blacks killing blacks. Some of y'all think the coronavirus is one of the most dangerous things in the black and Spanish community. It's not. Let me tell you what's the most dangerous thing in the black and Spanish community. It's blacks and it's Spanish. You see what I'm saying? Because it's somebody out there. I don't care if you're a gang leader, gang chief. You see what I'm saying? I don't care what you are. You can get together and put a stop to the black on black crimes and, and killings in the Spanish on Spanish killings. That's if you wanted to. You see what I'm saying? Some people, you know, when I make YouTubes, me and my daughter and my granddaughter look and say they probably don't even watch it. So some of mine be talking about people dying and then you'll see a thumbs up, thumbs down. But they don't know. I don't make my YouTube videos. I don't make my uh, uh, give my messages for a thumbs up or a thumb down. I care less whether you like me or not, because there are people even down here in Charles, Missouri, told me that I inspire them. And that makes me feel good. You see what I'm saying? If you can just reach one, one might reach another thousand. That one thousand may reach a million. And that's what it's all about. You know, uh, people say this is the season to be jolly to give. You see what I'm saying? If it's the season to be jolly to give, all these millionaires, all these preachers, especially these here uh, uh, preachers that uh, uh, that's on television, T.D. Jakes, <laughs> Cliff O'Dollar, Joe Esteen, all you other millionaires, millionaires, that's what y'all are, millionaires. Stop always asking people for money and use some of them millions that you get. <laughs> some of y'all don't even like me talking about it. But like, like I said, I don't make it for everybody. But anyway, I'm out here, y'all. I'm warming up my vehicles, uh, letting them thaw out. 
some people say it's dangerous. My daughters and them sometimes they can't sleep. I just they my windows they was all uh had frost all over it. And then what I do sometimes I go around my go around the house and and make sure everything is is all right. You know what I mean? Sense of lights come on. But that's just me. You know what I mean? And and I do it not just uh, for my house. I have elder neighbors that live across the street. And and I look out for my elder neighbors. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this street that I live on, they, they call it the hood. But I don't call it the hood. I call it Vine Street. You know what I mean? Uh, anybody that know where I live, you know, my house is the last house here before you get to the projects. And I have nothing wrong with the projects because I grew up in the projects. I love the projects. It's it's just individual people in certain project housing uh, that make things look bad. But what I want to just say to y'all, you know, use y'all, use your clout, use your authority if you can Let's try to stop this violence, man. You see, you you end up killing the wrong person, even by mistake, and you may set off <laughs> something that you can't <laughs> turn off. You see what I'm saying? You may set somebody out that ain't 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 gonna ain't gonna stop until everybody in your household is gone. I pray to God, y'all, that you know we take this year. And people talking about New Year's resolution, <laughs> you know, I don't wait to know New Year's. 365 days a year, 366 every leap year. This was a leap year here. You know, I always try to have a plan. You know, when I lived in Cabrini Green, especially in the row houses and in the white projects, that was white and Spanish people that lived there. I remember in 1968, I was about 10 years old, living in the row house when Martin Luther King got killed, April the 4th, 1968. It was white people and Spanish there. And we, our families, our mothers and fathers and grandparents didn't let nothing happen to those Spanish or, or white people in the community. But those white and Spanish people that lived in Cabrini Green, <laughs> you know, they stood their own. They stood their own ground, too. But I'm praying another thing, y'all. It's just been a habit with this house next door. Three generations of people. It seemed like the landlords don't care who they put in here. The last one that threatened me on November the uh, the 30th of 2020, just this year, they moved out December the 2nd. A black guy with a white female, sometime, and it's, it's the shoe fit wear, sometimes black guys that had these white females try to impress them. But see, what they end up doing, somebody will take them out. You see what I'm saying? Take them out of the game, or they take them, or they take the person out of the game trying to impress this white female. And if the shoe fit wear, then one in the cemetery, the other one in jail. Where you think that female going? And see, in this particular case, this white female done called me all type of bees, hollering out the window, 400 pounds. You see what I'm saying? But me and my daughters and them still prayed for her. But she started a lot of mess in the black community. Told me to move. But look what God did. God removed her from out of this black neighborhood. I don't know what she moved to. I don't know what he moved to. But I pray to God that this landlord don't put somebody else in here that started disrespecting me. If you want to get them type of people in this house, move them next door to you. I can't tell you what to do, but I ain't going nowhere until God tell me to go. Peace be still.